Well, I have returned home, and well, the week of indoor arena football has passed, and well, definitely some things happened this weekend, I'll tell you that much. Um, the San Diego Bay Area game just ended, San Diego with a drop kick two-pointer for an extra point after, you know, Nate Davis and Daquan Neal dueled for four quarters. And, of course, Bay Area misses the field goal on the other side of things with less than five seconds to go. And thus, San Diego was right in the mix of the playoff hunt. A lot of IFL teams in the mix of the playoff hunt, but I do know one team that has clinched, the Green Bay Blizzard. 63-35 over Jacksonville on Friday night. They have clinched the spot. San Antonio is back in it. San Castronova and company are moving and grooving. With a big win against Massachusetts, Iowa beats Quad City. Vegas beats Duke City. Duke City ends up firing Fred Griggs because, of course, Duke City would do something like that. Why are we not surprised at that? Billy Back's offense is kind of rough to watch. Um, it's really, really rough to watch that offense. And Frisco, you know, didn't have to put up nearly as much. They put up 35. Tucson could only muster up 18. And again, I mean, it's just been, you know, it's just been some weird times here for the Sugar Skulls because that 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 right there was just rough to watch. That offense literally gave me diabetes all over again. It was it's that it's it's pretty bad. That offense is pretty bad. The Bay Area game was pretty bad for them, but this game was also pretty bad, you know. Um the TAL, Kansas City wins, Duluth wins. Iowa looks like the worst team in the league still. Duluth won off of a Hail Mary at the end, which is crazy. Crazy thing to think about. But, hey, it happens. Uh, man. You know, and, and there's been some exciting stuff. That that was the first TL game that looked really, really good. Really, really good. We're talking a really good game. Um, Tulsa had the largest crowd this weekend with over 13,000 fans. They beat Sioux Falls in a close game. Arizona is also back in the playoff one. They beat Northern Arizona by seven. But yeah, IFL, IFL did their thing this week. They did their thing. They did their thing. But what about the championship games? Well, the first championship game was Friday night. I was coming on back, you know, you know, I was coming on back and I was looking at, you know, this game and then I was watching the NBA. But um, Columbus yet again wins another championship, 46 to 20 over Corpus Christi. There was a point where Columbus, you know, was in a tight game with the Tritons, but ultimately at the end, Columbus was just too much. The AL2 playoffs, you know, was also this weekend, Jersey. Um, beat Steel City 40 to nothing, and they will take on Wheeling next week. Peach State and Waco will play the other semifinal. And then the NAL Championship, of course, it's probably the best game of the bunch this weekend. My goodness, we're talking kicking woes. We're talking bad two-point conversion attempts. We're talking Tommy Armstrong and company, you know, struggling yet again in a game that, you know, was very, very intriguing from start to finish. So City gave it their all. You know, there was again, there was some kicking woes in this game, but at the end of the day, the Omaha Beef, who in this game went to overtime twice, which is crazy. This game went to double overtime. Again, Omaha had like five or six mixed kicks. Sioux City had a couple missed kicks. I mean, it was just like it was rough. It was rough out there, I'll tell you that much. But ultimately at the end. Sioux City did not make their kicks, you know, going for a Verlin Reed two-point conversion attempt that was probably the dumbest play of the entire season instead of going for one because knowing Omaha had kicking problems, you would think going for one, you know, would be the thing that they do. But no, that did not happen. And instead, the beef go on ahead and win their third title in four years, the second straight, and the NAL runs off to the sunset having finished their season, 
you know, with five teams and looking to get more. Now, there's one more thing really that needs to be talked about here is that Wheeling is announcing something. We don't know where they're going to go yet. A lot of people are saying it's going to be the NAL. You know, some people could be saying the AIF, but a lot of people, you know, are saying it's either the NAL or the AIF. You know, anything is better than what we've witnessed. And I got to try and get the boys. Uh, I got to try and get the boys back on here. The, 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 the AL Texas teams. I got to get those guys on here. That we'll see. So um, Friday, uh, this upcoming Friday, uh, next Friday, this upcoming Friday. Well, I guess it's next. It's technically next Friday, but I'm I'm just good. It's semantics at this point. Um, Wheeling will announce someplace that they will be playing. Um, I'm sure somebody will will probably leak the information first or something like that because that's just how things are but again a lot of people are expecting them to go to the AIF or the NAL either one of those could be possible I don't think the AFL is very suitable right now again I, I haven't even talked about the AAL the AFL scores yet because I mean my goodness two games were blowouts Washington and Wichita are just terrible the other two games were pretty damn good Southwest Kansas Loses to West Texas off of a um, play at the end. And then Albany loses their first game of the season to Orlando in a game that was very, very stunning at first. I mean, we're talking, we're talking Orlando, you know, was, you know, was putting boot to ass at first, you know, and then Albany came back and fought back and everything like that. And then, you know, it went down to the wire. And that's just how things went with the Predators winning and keeping themselves in playoff positioning. So, yeah. So that was this week in the football. We'll find out what in the world is going to happen with the Wheeling Miners upcoming the next couple of the next couple of days and everything like that because you know. I mean, Wheeling, while well, Wheeling goes to either the AIF or the NAL, um, probably, I'm probably leaning towards the NAL because the Wheeling guys already dealt with the AIF and it didn't really work out too well. So, yeah, so there's all that. And then, you know, next week we got. Oh, Lordy. We got we got Saturday starting at five, and then we got Sunday at five. So, you know, so make sure you get yourselves ready for next weekend because we got games at five o'clock Saturday, and a couple games at five o'clock on Sunday. So, I'm gonna get on out y'all's here and get this UFL video done real quick. So, take care. I hope. And um, congratulations once again to the Columbus Lions and to the Omaha Beef for both winning their respective championships this week. Yeah.